Well, howdy diddly dandy there. Charms to Zai, Captain of Steve's, and I'm back inside of Towers of Agaspa, and I'm over at my third town, mainly because this is where I can make terracotta. And uh, I need to make some terracotta, three terracottas, in fact, to upgrade my Midhaven town to level two. So I've been going and collecting clay, and I've got quite a fair bit of clay. I, have, I don't think I've got enough to make a terracotta right yet, but I thought I'd come here anyway and just show you that you need 15 clays to make a terracotta. Now you can use a shovel and some coal to make a terra to make some clay and it makes you three clays. So one of my shovels is a little bit knackered so I'm going to throw that in there and um, hopefully get that come out. But you can see there that's going to take nine minutes and 56 seconds. While that's going I'm going to go and grab some more clay. So it's a bit weird turn in your shovel in to make clay admittedly isn't it but anyway i'll show you where i get my clay from so i'm going to be heading over here and we're going to be going to get the clay right -o. i actually went to the wrong blinking place didn't i all right let's jump back in here and i want to go even further south than that i want to go down here um to, to, yeah to my little town there Right, so from this town, I'm heading towards those massive rocks over there, and there's like a little wooden shed on the hill over there. Now, where I've built my tree is quite near to the pond, and I get three clays around by my tree. Obviously, you haven't built your tree in the same place as me, or if you have, it's freaking just uncannily weird. But anyway, there's one right here on this tree stump and on this rock. So I'm going to grab that. Oh, I think it gave me the even worse clay that I had. Right, I mean not clay, spade. There's another one right here at the foothill, so I'm going to grab that one as well. And then there's one more that's quite hard to spot just there. Now, the next load of clay, you're all going to find this in about the same sort of spot. So head towards the camp so you can see the camp there. Now by this tree and by this rock there is a heck of a lot of sticks, so I tend to pick those up anyway just because I can, and I get them every single time. Oops, another stick there. And just north of those, just sort of over here, is some clay. Uh, where are you, clay? Uh, just over here, there we go. Boom, boom. And there is in relation to the actual house. There's another one there. Lovely, and there's some more sticks there, so i grab those too. Lovely jubbly. Now there's some more clay just over here and you head towards this funny shaped rock there and just sort of jump off the cliff. Yeah, as I said, just jump off the cliff right here. Okay, and you see down there by that little light, what looks like an anthill on the beach. There's, there's three more clays just over here. Boom. One two you gotta be a bit careful there's usually a spider that tries to creep up on you look there he is over there so just keep him visible keep him in sight because sometimes he just makes a run at you he's a bit of a git but if you've got an iron bow with iron arrows like me boom you're dead how'd you like them apples i guess there we go, and that's all the clay. So I'm going to head back to the other town now and make some more terracotta. I'll see you there. And hey presto, like magic that takes ten freaking minutes, my the terracotta's ready. There we go. Oh no, that was just the clay. That was just the clay! Okay, um, great. Right, we're going to be making a load more terracotta now. Well, I would do, um, but I'm about, what, six clays too short. I'm going to go and grab some more clay so I can do two terracottas in one go okay right i should have the 30 clays by now i mean i think i've even got more than 30 but well, hopefully i have if my map is right anyway let's head on over here then let's see if we can make two boom and yes please and two please heck yes that's gonna take 14 minutes and i think that's just for one and then it'd be another 14 minutes for the other so it could be half an hour's wait I'll see you in a moment. Well, chums, I'm back. And hopefully my terracotta is done. Yes, that's two rare terracottas. Grabdicated. Let's head on back on over to my main town and see if I can now level that up. Right, where's my teleporter amongst all these weeds? Over here. Boom. 
And we're heading over to that. Ishwire. Sweet. Okay, let's leg on up. Now, I've also got the two cob that I need, which you just get from your composting unit. So, awesome. Let's head on over. Turn it all. There we go. Round of applause for me. That means this is going to grow larger. Does that mean it's going to get another thing on the top of the steeple that I can then pluck off to go and build another city? I hope so. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Hello. Ah, apologies, young ones. You startled me. Sweet, now Midhaven is restored. I wanted to spend some time taking in the skies. What? Ashkabar has such brilliant sky compared to Lahora. The rich colour, the way the clouds dance, it brings back memories. I'd like to show the goddess Wingaru my appreciation for her work, but I'm not sure what a god such as herself would want from a mortal. Something shiny. I'd say something winged, to be fair. Oh yeah, we have something shiny. An excellent idea, perhaps an opal from the boulder in arid region. Oh, looks like I've got to go find an opal then. I trust you can procure it for her on my behalf. Please give the goddess Wingari my regards. Okay, well, we've been given a new side mission right after that. That was definitely a bit of a hustle, wasn't it? Anyway, I think this is now up to the biggest it can be. Yes, it's at the highest tier. I'm going to check the steeple anyway to see if there is anything up there. I don't think there is. But if I go under build now, I can make dipoles and an artisan. I've nearly got everything I need for that. So I'm going to see where I can put this. And uh, I'm going to put it down. I'm probably actually going to put this one over where the gold merchant is. Yeah, why the fudge not? Let's go stick it over where the gold merchant is. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I'm going to stick it around here somewhere. Maybe down here just a teeny bit, in line with all my other places. I think that'd probably do the trick, don't you? Yeah, uh, just a little... It just looks a little squiffy, but it's not, I don't think. I think that's lined up. Is it lined up? Yeah, I think it is. I do then. Boom! You're in dipoles. Now, it's going to take me a little while to get all the different materials that I need for that. Might as well turn in some. Oh, look at that. I've been given Grand Windmill and all sorts of other stuff. Awesome. Well, let's head on over here. Let's just uh, turn in what I've got. We just need to get flint for that. Ah, oh, I can make lasagna. Wow. We've got all sorts we can make there. And there's also one other structure that I can build on here as well. But I think I've got to get that in first. So I need to go get my flint. Now I know that I've got flint. I just can't remember which storage container I put the flint in. Now it wouldn't be here or else it would recognise that I've got it. So it must be at one of the other two bases. One more. There we go. I knew I had flint. I've got 77 of it. Might as well take it all. All right, well, let's head on back then and let's uh, get that built and then I can build the second structure. Lovely, jubbly. Wow, there's there's a few side missions here, isn't there? All right, well, it looks like we've got a little bit more to do after I've got these two buildings down. Okay, final offering, which is the flint. There we go, and that's now built. Let's see what we can build here before I put down the other structure, shall we? I mean, what's this? Dipole. So maybe I can make my own custom armour or something? I don't know. Where's the bench for this dang thing? Oh, it's round here. Okay, cool. I just went round in a full circle. So you can make all different dies, but I don't understand what for. Okay, so I can recolour stuff. Mm, Alright, fine. I'm not too sure how you go about recolouring stuff, but there we go. Alright, let's go into build then. And let's build this. It looks like I've already got everything I need for this one. And yeah, I'm going to put this one up here, I think. Because yeah, why not? It looks like it's made out of a load of little mushrooms, doesn't it? That actually looks quite good there. Boom. There we go. What the fudge is that? An artisan. Could it be a market or something? Don't know. Okay, well that's in. Uh, where's the bench for this one, then? I have no idea. I built, oh, there we go. It wasn't finished. Oh, we get a person free with it. Sweet. Okay. Let's have a look what's in here, then. Oh, okay. So I can make all different art displays. 
Oh, I like that one. That's pretty cool. Awesome. And they actually give culture points, these. Like, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, well, there we go, people. I've now got this right up to the highest level it can go. It can't go any higher than this. It's as high as it goes. Can I can I build a second one if I wanted to? No. All right, well, there we go, peeps. That's, that's pretty much everything I've got for you. I've now got this town up to its highest level. And it looks like we've been given some side quests to do. But we haven't got any more general story. So I think from here on in, it's going to be doing little guides. I might even fire this up on my PC and play it through on my PC. Now that I know what I'm doing, I could probably do it a lot better and get my PC save up to the same sort of standard as this, if not better. Yeah, so... Yeah, but next 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 um, episode, I'll be doing some of the little side missions and maybe getting everything finished off. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Center